First Kings chapter 11 is, well, it's kind of a sad time in the life of Solomon, the great wise king. The, the whole chapter includes some of the things that he did and then how God responded. And I want to sort of break it down in a summary for you. You've, you've got in verse 1 through 8, the idolatry, the foreign wives, and then you've got God's anger against this in chapter 11, 9 through 13. And then all of the enemies that God sort of sends towards Solomon in 14, verse 25. And then Jeroboam, who takes leadership in 26 through 40. And finally, well, in 1 Kings chapter 11, you have the death of Solomon in verses 41 through 43. But listen to what it says as the chapter opens there in chapter 11. King Solomon loved many foreign wives. This is verse 1. He also loved the daughter of Pharaoh, the women of the Moabites, Ammonites, Edomites, Sidonites, Hittites, from the nations of whom the Lord had said to the children of Israel, You shall not intermarry with them, nor they with you. Surely they will turn away your hearts after their gods. And Solomon clung to these in love. So Solomon, instead of getting wiser as he got older, actually he began to lose his wisdom. And it happened because he began to do those things God told him not to do, specifically to intermarry with all these foreign women who worship foreign gods. And they turned Solomon's heart away from the Lord. And so God responded to that. And, and I listen to that, I read that, and I think, you know, a lot of people think, well, the older you get, the wiser you get, the easier it is, but not really so. It's protecting your heart all through life. Listen to this. It says, Let him that thinks he stands take heed lest he fall. We see how weak we are ourselves without the grace of God and dependence on a day-by-day -day relationship with him. If you think you can just reach a stage in Christianity and just begin to coast from that time on, well, Solomon's a great example of you can't do that. He began to drift. He began to disobey. And he ended up losing the kingdom and losing his deep relationship with the Lord. There are traitors within our own heart that are constantly pulling at us to go in a different direction. Solomon in 1 Kings chapter 11 is a great picture of someone who started off with great wisdom and grace, great humility, a great sense of humbleness. Lord, I'm, I'm like a child. I don't know how to go in or out. So give me wisdom. And God gave it to him but he turned his heart away from the wisdom of God and the obedience of God. He lost his kingdom, and in many ways, he lost his relationship with the Lord as the Lord dealt with Solomon at the end of his life. So listen, guard your heart, for out of it come the issues of life. Solomon's a great picture of someone who allowed himself to be, well, go astray according to women, his involvement with them. And there's so many other things in life that can pull us away. Riches, women like Solomon, lust of the flesh, all, all these things that, well, instead of staying wise, we end up becoming foolish and losing all that God has given us.